Hi, I'm Stephanie Sackerman. I am a mom, an educator, a parent educator, a certified wellness coach with the International Association of Wellness Professionals. I'm a mindfulness teacher and also the founder of Live, Love, Be Well Wellness Coaching. And I am delighted to be here to talk with you about something that I'm really passionate about, and that is meditation. So I know that there's a lot of different ideas out there when someone mentions meditation. So I hope that by the time we finish today, that you feel that you know a little bit about it. And hopefully you feel that it's something that's tangible for you, should you choose to give it a try. So, okay, let's just quickly talk about what meditation is. Meditation is simply put, bringing your focus or attention to something. And I say to something because there's many different types of meditation. So for example, I am a mindfulness meditation teacher. So in mindfulness, we bring our awareness or our focus to the present moment. So that means that we bring our attention to um, how our body is feeling in the moment. So how it feels to breathe. We may bring our attention to how our body feels as it makes contact with the chair beneath us. I can also bring my focus or my awareness to whatever thoughts I'm having or what I'm feeling. Okay, so that's just one type of meditation. Another type of meditation is the metta meditation. Um, and that is where we focus on sharing loving kindness. We give it to ourselves and then we extend it out to the community and out to the world. Another type of meditation is a mantra meditation. And that's where you focus your awareness on a word or a phrase throughout the whole practice. So there's many others out there. So Hopefully, um, you know, this is sort of like piquing your interest a little bit, but even if what I share with you today, which is really mindfulness meditation based, if it doesn't totally resonate with you, hopefully you'll go out and you'll explore the different types of meditation and you'll find one that's going to feel really good for you. All right, let's dispel some false ideas. I have students who have come to me in the past and they've said, I can't meditate. I have way too much going on in my mind. Um, I just can't silence my thoughts. Okay, mindfulness and, and meditation at large is not about quieting your thoughts or trying to control your mind, okay? We are human beings and so our minds are going to wander. It's just what they do and that is okay. And so I tell my students, if you realize that you are having a thought and that your mind has wandered, go ahead and give yourself like a little pat on the back because that means that you are aware enough to, to observe that you're having a thought, okay? So just know your mind's gonna wander and that is fine, okay? Even if it wanders 100 times and you have to bring it back 100 times, that is totally okay. Um, sometimes people have this visual in their mind of what it looks like to meditate. You know, maybe you picture someone and they are in a specific posture and their legs look a certain way and they have their hands doing a specific motion. Maybe you think that they're, you know, by themselves or they're sitting on a cushion. And, and yes, for some people that is what meditation looks like. That is what a meditation posture is for them. That feels good for them. But what I love about meditation is that it doesn't just have to be someone in a room practicing on a cushion by themselves. I mean, sure, when we practice the you know formal practice of meditation, it is um, it's wonderful and it's important to practice you know in a quiet space where you're by yourself so that you can really tune in and you can really strengthen that connection with yourself and you can you know, strengthen the ability to bring your attention and your focus to whatever your focal point is. But that's not the only way to meditate. You know, you can meditate at any point during your day with your eyes wide open. You know, in mindfulness, we talk about mindful living, you know, or everyday mindfulness. And those are moments throughout the day where we can bring our attention to the present moment. 
So we're practicing mindfulness just in our daily lives. So it could be when you're in the shower and you're feeling the water against your back. You could be out for a walk and you are, you know, really noticing and bringing your attention to the way the sun feels on your face, the wind, the way the wind feels in your hair, um, the sound of the birds, the way that your feet feel as they move against the ground. You know, you can meditate when you are washing the dishes, when you are holding your baby, when you're out shopping, okay? You can always bring your awareness um, to the present moment, okay? So the next point that I wanna make sure we cover is that you know, we call it a practice. Um, and that's because it does, it takes practice, you know, and just like any other practice, um, you're going to have some days where you're having an awesome meditation and you were like in the zone, you were connecting. And then you might have other days where you've got what we call monkey mind. And that's when, a, you know, your mind is jumping from one thought to the next, just like a monkey swings, you know, from branch to branch. Um, and I mean, even the, the greatest, um, you know, meditators out there are the most practiced. They're going to have days too, where they just have things that are popping up in their mind. Um, and that's, that's totally okay. You know? And so in addition to the different types of meditation, there's also different ways that meditations can be presented. Okay. So you can have a guided meditation. And that's when someone's voice leads you through the meditation. You can have an unguided meditation where there's nobody leading you through. Maybe it's going to be music that's leading you through, or maybe it's going to be sounds of nature that's leading you through. So there's different styles, I guess I'll call it. And maybe on one day, you're able to do an unguided meditation. And the next day, you know that there's a lot on your mind. And so you're going to choose a guided meditation so that someone's voice is anchoring you and bringing you back, you know, to that meditation. So I invite you to really do some exploring and to see what feels good for you and to know that what feels right on one day maybe isn't going to be the way that you're going to want to meditate on the next day. Okay. And you know, I share with my students too, that you don't want to just like dive in on the, you know, the deep, the deep end. Um, meaning that I would never send somebody out and say, okay, your homework is to meditate for 30 minutes. Because if you start to meditate for 30 minutes, like what you're going to see is within just a few minutes, like your mind is, there's a lot going on there, right? And it can feel frustrating. It can even feel a little bit overwhelming when you start to become aware of of what you're thinking. Um, and so I always say start small. So today what I would like to do is do a one minute meditation with you. So the first thing is let's all get in a comfortable position. So it might be seated. Maybe you're going to um, sit crisscross applesauce. Maybe you're going to plant your feet on the floor. Maybe you're going to lay down. Okay. Maybe you're going to be standing for this meditation. I view meditation as a way to nourish myself and a way to care for myself. And so I want for all of my students to be in a position that feels comfortable and that honors them. The next piece is that I'm going to invite everybody to close their eyes. And that is just so we can tune out of all of these external stimulants and it's a little bit easier to lean inward. But maybe you can't close your eyes. Maybe you're a mom or dad or a caretaker and you gotta keep one eye open. So go ahead, you go ahead and you keep one or two eyes open. Maybe it just doesn't feel comfortable to you know sit there with your eyes closed. That's fine, pick a focal point. Maybe you're gonna pick one that's on the floor so you can sort of lower your lids a little bit but go ahead and just do what is comfortable for you. Okay, so hopefully everybody's in a comfortable posture and I will invite you to close your eyes and I'm gonna set my timer here for one minute. So let's go ahead and let's just breathe three purposeful breaths. Let's breathe in through the nose if it feels good and breathe out, breathe in, 
exhale, and once more, and exhaling out. Just noticing what it's like to breathe naturally. Really allowing your breath to breathe you. Perhaps even becoming aware of how your body feels in this moment. And that was it. That was one minute right there. So maybe for some of you, it felt long. Maybe it felt short. Maybe it felt just right. But I invite you to give it a try. So, you know, maybe you're going to choose to make it a goal this week that every day you're going to meditate for one minute. And I hope that at the end of that week, maybe you notice that you're feeling a little bit more centered, a little bit more balanced, a little bit more grounded. And maybe next week you're going to extend it to two minutes. And before you know it, you're meditating for five minutes um, or 10 minutes. And I hope that you all sort of take with you this idea that, you know, life is the real meditation. You know, there are so many beautiful moments that we have, um, but oftentimes we miss out on them simply because we're not bringing our attention or our awareness to them. And so I hope that after watching this video that you give it a try, give meditation a try, and that you also can open your eyes and your awareness even more to the wonderful experiences that you have in your day-to-day -day life. And if you want to learn a little bit more about mindfulness and meditation, um, and you're looking for some support, please visit my website, www.llbwc.com. It would be an honor to help you bring this practice into your everyday life. So until we meet again, may you live, love, and be well.